second day, after she left, I went and I saw this ad. It said, uh, workshop with uh, Yogi. Yeah. And uh, this was a Kundalini master. I call him a master because he changed my life. He called himself just a teacher. And uh, I went to his class and I got a few things out of it, but then I sat with lunch with him because I wanted to have some personal time. I said, you know, here's my story. This is what happened. This is when I was five. This is what happened to me and I'm on my way to the grave now. This guy was eating through the entire dissertation. For almost an hour, I condensed your version, by the way, to 15 minutes. But for an hour, I told this guy all the excruciating details of what the cardiologist did and what this thing did and, and what was the test, what was the angiogram. And so he finished his last bite and he said, Doc, you're the dumbest doctor I've ever met. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm insulted because I'm a prestigious doctor. I have five years under my belt. Who's this guy in a turban talking to me this way? I couldn't say anything because he's six foot two, much stronger than me. And I was in a very weakened state. And I just wanted to hear him out. I said, why are you calling me dumb? Tell me. And he says, I'm calling you dumb for two reasons. Number one, how many doctors did you talk to? I said, I talked to about four doctors and maybe like half a dozen that peripherally know my story. He said, well, that's your first problem. There's six billion people on the planet. Go talk to the rest of them. <laughs> Get better opinions. You got all the wrong opinions. I said, what's the second thing? He said, the second thing is, you've talked for an hour. You've missed your lunch. Your meal is cold. So you missed on this opportunity. But the more important opportunity is that you, I haven't heard you say whether you want to live or you want to die. I said, it's obvious. He said, it's not obvious. It's not obvious to me. You haven't said that you want to live. The whole entire hour, you haven't said anything about living. You've talked about dying. So what does a person that talks about dying do? Die. <laughs> now, he was not a quantum physicist. He didn't know Albert Einstein's theories of relativity. He does not understand, or even today may not relate to John Bell and the theorem, uh, the John Bell theorem or the uncertainty principle. We're going to talk about all these because that's what he was talking about. He was saying if you don't make a decision about anything, nothing will happen. Have you encountered that in your lives where you haven't made a decision? You think you have said the decision? You think you've shared it? And yet you talk to your loved ones? You talk to the neighbor, you talk to the boss, you talk to the colleagues. Nobody knows what your vision is. No one knows that you've made a decision to do X number of things. You haven't shared it. What do you expect? There is a science right now that says if you make a decision and stand firm, firm, that means you exclude all the other options. What's going to happen? Only this will manifest. 